Hang on, what's that about? There's a keyway there, maybe the key just fell out. There's no keyway cut. Welcome back to Harris. This week we're looking at this HTD pulley which um, we want to mount on the lathe. As I showed you last week I'm not that happy about the way the tooth belt is engaging with the original pulley that's there so I bought this pulley online from a place I usually use for bearings. They've always served me well in the past. So the way I'm doing this you can see that there's a, a boss, uh, a raised boss on that side so that's what I'm going to be gripping in the in the three jaw chuck. I've only got a three jaw chuck at the moment. Ideally, one would want um, a four jaw chuck and then dial it in, but I've got to work with what I've got. Um, I don't trust these flanges on the side, so I don't, and they're quite thin anyway. I don't really want to be gripping them in there. Even if I had a four jaw chuck, I would have to grip with those flanges so that I could dial off on the on the boss there. I'm going to trust that their centre hole is going to pull my drill in reasonably um, straight. That's good. Alright, well I've done the best I can on this. Um, it's not that accurate. You can see that's just on the face. And that's wandering out by kind of between four and five, so it's four, so that's a thou out, is it? A bit over a thou. I think we have to live with that. Right, I don't know what the hell is happening there. Loose. Until you see my finger here, you realise how tiny this load is. This whole assembly now moves out. So at this point it's become apparent even to me that there's something wrong with my tailstock. It's just spinning round and round. Alright, look, well, here's the situation here. There is no um, keyway. There's no key cut in that at all. Right, so clearly this has been designed to take a key. You look at the keyway there. It's what you might expect in a spindle so that it doesn't go spinning round and round and round. I'm not really in a position to start cutting a keyway down there. I might have had a go um, had there not been this uh, cap on the end or this uh, restricted area on the end. As it is, this is essentially a blind keyway. I don't have any key cutters or brooches or anything like that. So my plan is going to be in the mill, I'm going to drill and tap holes for certainly one, possibly two set screws there so that uh, when I shove that in, I can um, just screw my set screws down to stop it turning, but also to allow it kind of movement that away for when you're winding the drill in okay so what I'm going to do in order to mount it uh, mount the surface flat on the drill I'm going to have to take this um, this carriage lock off you're welcome to watch of course that's the wrong size so as you can see even with that out it's a trapped piece it can't go anywhere which is not the best design in my opinion but whatever um, so however you do it, you're still going to have a bit of threaded whatnot. However, that does give us kind of room to move. So <clears throat> for a wonder, it does at least mean that I can get it into a vice. So this actually works pretty well. I'm quite quite happy with this. I've got these um, uh, screws going in. That's sort of travelling quite nicely. That is, I mean, it's quite hard to demonstrate something not doing something. 
but that is kind of rigid it, it's not going round at all um, I put some nuts on here so that when I get them to you know exactly the right kind of jib thing going on um, I can tighten off down these are probably a bit long these but what I had kind of happy with that I think that's fixed our, our uh, going round problem that's holding it nice and firm now so I will reassemble this put the tailstock back on the machine and we will carry on with <laughs> pecking away the hole in the HTD pulley that we started all those years ago Estimator. So that is <clears throat> pretty much bang on 28. So the question now is really, do I want to give it a little more just to just to give it some clearance? And I think the answer to that is probably yes. So I'm going to give it another, I think two thou, which um, you know is is a uh, one of these graduations. Each one of these graduations on the cross slide is. One thou. So if I do one of those, that's going to give me one both sides, which would be two thou in all. And you know, we'll see if we get away with that. The problem is that because I'm making this to fit on this spindle, you know, I can't I can't bring this spindle and kind of offer it up every so often just to see where I'm at. And you know what it's like. Once you take it off, you're never going to get back there again, especially on a three jaw chuck. Um, <clears throat> so it's all a little bit by guess and by God here, but. Uh, I'm going to take another couple of thou off and um, and then take the whole thing apart and see and see whether it fits. I have to say I'm not unhappy with that. It's a good slide fit. Um, a purist would say you know there's a little play on it. Um, but but not excessively and the thing is usable and by the time we get a keyway in and actually there is rather less slop there than um than the oem aluminium uh, uh cog that went in there which i do accept is not a particularly high bar so i think we're going to count that as a success uh, i don't know if you can see there but one thing i'm going to have to do is make a spacer because can you see the boss on the original uh, aluminium one is um, slightly bigger than the corresponding boss on the new steel one so I'm gonna have to make a spacer such that it um, stands out properly because at the moment it's uh, just bearing straight onto this bit of plastic so I just need to make a, a spacer I don't know what that looks like eighth of an inch even um, something like that measure that up get that right um and then the next job will be cutting a keyway but um i think this one's getting a little bit long and although cutting a keyway sounds like a fairly straightforward job i have no means of cutting keyways and i can't afford to start buying brooches and all this kind of stuff so i'm going to have to i'm going to have to get all inventive about this so i'm going to call it on this video for now Tune in for the next video to see how I get on cutting the keyway. Thanks so, so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.